So hi there guys, my name is Izal Hoffman and welcome to yet another mindful eating cook along. Now for the love of healthy living and the outdoors, we are in fact going outside to the bride today and I'm going to show you a quick and easy recipe that's mindfully put together with only healthy ingredients. The recipe is in fact available in my cookbook called Mindful Eating. If you page it open to the honey and rosemary chicken tray bake, now this is in fact the recipe that I'm going to show you today how to make for the braai of course. I'm going to show you an alternative to chicken breast and that is of course cauliflower steaks. Now these you will see I've actually pre-cut and the reason I prefer to put it in a grid like this is it just makes the turning and all the flipping over of these so much easier. Then over to our chicken fillets. Now I have in fact pre-tenderized these just by slightly sort of tenderizing the thicker side of the chicken breast and just uh, because we can't go without a beautiful roast vegetable side i've decided that today we are making just roasted butternut skewers of sarties thread them a little bit with fresh rosemary as well we're just going to be basting them sort of with the same marinade that we are going to make use of for the chicken now in here we've got roughly about three tablespoons of a good quality blue gum honey then over to olive oil can i go without a good quality olive oil now in here we've got roughly about three tablespoons you will see i've got two varieties of mustard here we've got a clean mustard powder and then of course our beautiful little mustard seeds just like the faith of a mustard seed these are perfect it is the yellow ones of course and I absolutely love dried rosemary. We're also going to be garnishing with a fresh rosemary, of course. Fantastic anti-inflammatory herb as well. Antiviral, antifungal, just an overall fantastic herb to have. We're going to be sprinkling our societies as well as our chicken with a little bit of ground black pepper. Why? Because it actually helps our body absorb nutrients. We've got clean onion powder here as well. One teaspoon of good quality salt. Salt is there to enhance flavor. So at least make use of a good quality one. Um, the one that's sort of unrefined, unbleached. And then that is basically all our ingredients. I think we should sort of wrap all of this up and take it outside. We're gonna start with this braai, but if you feel like it is a little bit too windy at your side, exactly how it is today, here we are actually going to make a marinade with all of these ingredients to make your life just a little bit easier now opening up this beautiful weber you can actually feel the temperature is perfect so what we're going to start is with the cauliflower steaks i'm just going to place these on the braai so long we're going to close it just like that so you don't actually have to close it up completely now we're going to start with our olive oil then over to our onion powder of course and then uh, over to mustard powder because we are making honey and mustard. Then some mustard seeds, roughly about two tablespoons. And then over to our honey. Now, because it is a little bit cold today, it might be a bit of a sticky situation, but we're going to give it our best attempt. Sort of just clean out the last little bit of honey. And then over to our ground black pepper, just to zoosh it up a little bit. Our dried rosemary. Then over to our teaspoon of good quality salt. Now this is pink Himalayan, or you can of course make use of your Oryx Desert Salt. And as you can see, as you now start to mix, it is quite a, a bit of like a sticky paste. And that's sort of where the hot water is gonna become your new best friend. Okay, so just mix that up. Guys, and there you have it. The marinade is perfect as is. Now, if we are referring to the cookbook, you will see this is an oven tray bake. And for that reason, the recipe would be to sprinkle over all these ingredients, over the chicken, of course. Okay. So now with our cauliflower steaks, what we can do is we can flip these over. Slowly but surely, they are starting to crisp up. And then over to our chicken fillets. I'm going to start by just placing them face down on the braai. Remember, chicken doesn't cook for too long. Uh, in the oven, it's roughly about 25 minutes. And uh, on the braai, it might even be slightly less. But for that reason, my butternut is in fact pre-steamed. Now guys, when it comes to cooking chicken, it is so important to make sure that you only start adding anything with salt base, which is in this case our marinade, once the meat has in fact change color that is really the sort of secret or the trick for the difference between dried out chicken or beautiful succulent chicken every single time <laughs> oh 
Well, guys, I think it's time that we check in this Weber again. And it is now, in fact, the perfect timing to start adding the marinade. Now, we're going to start by basting our cauliflower first. And you might find that the marinade is slightly sort of sliding off the dish. And I'm going to actually show you how we can fix that little problem straight up as well. You can just take a little bit of almond flour and sprinkle it over your cauliflower, butternut, as well as the chicken to give it that beautiful gourmet look. And just look at this perfect flame grilled chicken. Honey and mustard marinade on the other side of our cauliflower steaks. We can put the almond flour a little bit closer. Just sprinkle that a little bit over. That is absolutely perfect over to our butternut susatis a little bit of almond flour again and then last but not least our chicken fillets <laughs> people it's absolutely smelling so fantastic you can't now just close up the bra and forget about this unfortunately because this dish is so close to being perfectly finished so we're going to give it one last more sort of a turn on this side just for the chicken to sort of crisp up on both sides. Guys, and there you have it. It's straightforward, straight from the bride. This is a beautiful honey mustard and rosemary. Sort of a tray bake if you had to go the oven option. Alternatively, we did take it to the bride today. From my side, my name is Isal Hoffman. I'm a lifestyle chef. Till next time for another mindful eating cook-along. Cheers.